Now watch this example. This is instructive. I'm told to add one-third and one-fourth. So they're unlike fractions, so I need to write them as like fractions. And I've got it set up here to write each one with a denominator of 24. So I'll write one-third as, as an equivalent fraction and one-fourth as an equivalent fraction, both with denominators of 24. Because 24 is a multiple of 3 and 24 is a multiple of 4. So here I go. 3 times what is 24? 3 times 8. So I also have to multiply the numerator by 8. And 1 times 8 is 8. So 1 third is equal to 8 over 24. Now the 1 fourth. 4 times what is 24? 4 times 6 is 24. So I also have to multiply the 1 by 6. So 1 fourth is equal to 6 over 24. So now my 1 third has been rewritten as 8 over 24 and the 1 fourth is rewritten as 6 over 24. Now I can add those. I can add 8 over 24 and 6 over 24 because those are like fractions. They both have a denominator of 24. So I just add the numerators. 8 and 6 is 14. So I get 14 over 24. This fraction though is not in lowest terms. 14 and 24 are both divisible by 2 so this can be simplified one step further. 14 divided by 2 is 7 and 24 divided by 2 is 12. So that's how I should write my answer. 7 over 12 or 7 twelfths. Now one thing you might have noticed is that 24 is a common multiple of 3 and 4 but it's not the least common multiple. We can do a problem like this more easily if we use the least common multiple. And the number 12 is also a multiple of 3 and 4, and it's smaller than 24. And 12 is, in fact, the least common multiple of 3 and 4. So let's set it up with 12 as our common denominator. And it will look like this. I'll rewrite 1 third as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 12 and the same thing with 1 fourth. Rewrite it with the denominator of 12. Okay, so 3 times what is 12? 3 times 4. So I have to multiply the 1 times 4, and 1 times 4 is just 4. Now the 4 over here. 4 times what is 12? 4 times 3. So I need to multiply this 1 times 3, and 1 times 3 is 3. So there I have it. I have one-third is the same thing as four-twelfths, and one-fourth is the same thing as three-twelfths. So now I can add those. Four-twelfths plus three-twelfths is equal to seven-twelfths. You see, I get the same answer here as I had before, but by using the least common multiple, it's a little bit easier. Working with smaller numbers is typically easier, especially with the mental math, and our result doesn't have to be reduced like this one did. So in general, adding and subtracting fractions is going to be made easier if you use the least common multiple. Any common multiple will work, but the least common multiple will typically be easiest. And this example is a relatively easy one. Add one-third and one-half. Well, if you look at the denominators, 3 and 2, you can probably tell that the least common multiple will be 6. So I'll write 1 third as a fraction with the denominator as 6, and you can tell that 1 over 3 is the same as 2 over 6. And I'll write 1 half also as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 6, and you can tell that 1 half is the same as 3 over 6. So adding a third and a half will be the same as adding 2 over 6 and 3 over 6. So I can just add them up. 2 over 6 plus 3 over 6 comes out to 5 over 6. And that's my answer.